This episode of First Aid Air Gun is brought to you by Flat Broke Air Gunner. Welcome to First State Air Gun. I'm your host, Lou, and today we're doing a quick shot review on the Texas Brush Hog Camo. What's that you say? We'll find out here in just a few moments. But before we do that, I want to give a big shout out to Flat Broke Air Gunner, FBA. Check him out on YouTube, and he's got a Facebook group too for air gunners. I'll leave links in the description for everything I'm talking about today in a, in a, down there. You know what I'm talking about. I ordered a t-shirt and a patch from FBA and it was sent expeditiously and let me tell you what I got more than I bargained for he sent me not one but two FBA patches plus my shirt and he sent me an American flag patch and on top of that he sent me the Texas brush hog camo so I'm gonna do a quick shot review on it everybody hang on This is what you get in the camo kit, a uh, cheek riser cover, a uh, barrel cover, and a scope cover. We're going to check out the uh, cheek riser here. Pretty easy, man. Give it a little stretch out maybe if it's uh, depending on what size your cheek riser is. This one fits nice and snug. This TG1 has been giving me a headache, but I finally found out what's wrong with it. Uh, I got a bad seal. Yeah, we'll get into that later. But anyway, thumbs up, baby. Now, the, uh, what I notice is brake barrel barrels are a little thin for this. It's no big deal, and they're a little short, so you can just cut it down a little bit. If you got a shroud in PCP, this is going to be right up your alley, man. If you got a big fat shroud on there, this is going to be your deal. But I'm digging it. There you go. Let's take a little closer look there. I cut just a little piece of it off just to shorten it up a bit, and a pretty good fit in my opinion. I'm digging it. All right, uh, let's move on to the scope. Here we go. As you see, it's got a uh, cutout already. That way you can uh, pop it on your scope. Uh, now what you want to do is actually start from the front. Slide her back on down. There you go. Over the turrets and to the back eyepiece. Bada bing, bada boom. There you go. As you can see, it's a little long uh, for my scope, but you can trim that back, just like I said with the barrel. Um, if you got a shrouded barrel, though, you're going to be fine, I think. And uh, see, it'll give you an idea of what it looks like for the fit. Hang on one second. Uh, I am not the best craftsman. Probably should have my wife do this, but I cut out some holes and trimmed it down a bit. Voila. I've got a camo scope. And a camo barrel now. Here, let's take a little closer look. Well, there you go, man. There's the Texas Brush Hog Camo. I'm kind of digging it, man. It makes my uh, Ruger Airhawk look pretty badass, to be honest with you. Uh, I got the cheek riser on the TG1. Uh, I did find out what was wrong with my TG1. It has a bad seal had goop all over it. I thought it was just grease. It was kind of like smeared on there, uh, like they were trying to keep the seal from falling out and it was all dried and crusty. So I'm gonna get a new seal for that. But back to this here, uh, just take your time when you're cutting these out. Uh, you wanna make sure you get your measurements right. I did a pretty good job. Uh, just take your time doing it. I should have done a better job, but I'm happy with it. On here, on the brake barrels, it's a little big for a brake barrel. If you got a PCP gun with a big shroud, uh, you're good to go. Um, you can always, if it's too long, you can always uh, cut a little bit off and put it on, see if it fits, and go from there. I'm digging it, man. Uh, right around 12, 15 bucks. Great for someone like me. I don't want to paint my guns. I'm scared to do it. I'm, I'll probably ruin them. Uh, I've seen a lot of good looking guns out there that have been painted, hydro dipped, the whole nine yards. But if you just want to spend 12 bucks to add a little camo to your air rifle, I want to thank Flat Broke Air Gunner for sending me this cool stuff. And uh, Texas Brush Hog Camo, I'm digging your stuff. I'm probably going to get some camo patterns in the future. Everybody, I'm digging it. Check it out if you want. Cheap, easy way to get some camo on your gun without having to do anything. Takes you two minutes. Everybody, have a great day.